auto press. It's going to come in two parts. It's going to come with your base and your top. So you just take your press off out of the boxes, set your top on the base. You take your electrical plug and you plug your electrical plug in. And then on the other side, you have four hoses coming out over here. So the bottom, the two here are your extractor hoses. These are your press hoses. This is your press top and your press bottom. All you do is take and plug your press top into where it says press top, your press bottom into where it says press bottom. Your extractor hoses, your bottom is on the bottom. So you take that hose, plug into where it says extractor bottom. That one's your top. Plug it into where you say extractor top. Once you've done that, your mold is lined up. You can raise it. So now your press should be good to go. Now, once you've got it, you need to change, turn your screws around. Your handles. We've got your handles on backwards. So, inside is your electrical components. If you look right here, there's a little blue button right here. On both your actuators. This actuator controls your press. This actuator controls your extractor. Once you've plugged your air in right here, you can push these buttons and that will make your actuators move up and down. Your gold filters will control your speeds for up and down. You can adjust those to make it faster or slower. On your extractor, you don't want it to slam up. Other than that, that's all you do in here. You plug your power in here. Now you're pretty much set up, ready to go. If you need to change mold plates, what you do is you raise this up. The easiest way is push your little black connector in and unplug your hoses. Lift your piston up and plug your hoses back in. Loosen your four wing nuts that are on top. Take your top mold plate off. Make sure you unhook your extractor from here in their push connects. And then you can lift your mold plate right out once you've loosened your lock screws on both sides. That will allow you to lift your mold plate out and put a new mold plate in. Other than that, that is the setup. Adjustment wise, there's four screws on the back right here. The same four screws are on the front. If you loosen those black screws, that allows this assembly to slide side to side. On the side, there's four screws here and four screws here that go into these side rails. On both sides, if you loosen those, that allows the assembly to slide front to back. The four screws right here on both sides allows your head to go up and down. So that gives you complete control to line your mold up. You always want to make sure anytime you change a mold before you apply air that you can take your mold plate and it slides right down into your holes. Other than that, that is your setup for the semi-auto press. As always, reach out if you need help. Thank you.